सप्त वृंदा हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे वर्ष सिक्सटी फोर बो जने गुरु सुभाषु कदंचिन माधवेना न तृष्टि मरोत्कम विक्षमानम इह ते मुख पद्म मोधयिष्यसि कदा मधुरेम सो ओ स्वीट श्रीमती राधिका शी इज वेरी स्वीट मधुरेम When will I see your joyful and eager lotus face as you pass passionate sidelong glances to Madhava Krishna while he feasts amidst all the brijabasis all his elders Okay so yesterday we heard about Radharani coming to Nanda Bhavan how she cooked a little bit of a glimpse and we started to hear how Krishna takes breakfast So we're continuing from there So Krishna at the beginning he sits with Nanda Baba and Baladev and the beginning is very restless is giving to baba nanda baba giving to his grandparents also even he goes and gives to brishabanu we heard he sits in brishabanu's lap and feeds him ladus and calls him baba and brishabanu's heart melts with great affection and he embraces krishna because he was thinking when will krishna also come and sit in my lap he was watching him sit in nanda baba's lap and krishna knows the hearts of all the bhaktas And so when Brishabhanu has this desire immediately Krishna runs and jumps and sits in uh, Brishabhanu's lap and feeds him ladus and says oh baba baba and Brishabhanu smiles and is very happy So after that so Krishna runs around very restless why is he so restless because it's like when you get something you really like then you share it with your friends because if something's very tasty and you only experience it alone it's not so pleasurable But if you're like, "Wow, this ice cream was so good." Oh, try it. You're my best friend. You should try it. You want to share things you really like with your friends. So Radhika is cooked so nicely with so much love, with so much care, and Krishna wants to show all his friends, also all those in Batsadila Ras, Sakya Ras, how glorious is Radhika's Mahabhav in Madhuri Ras. That Madhuri Ras is the topmost Ras. And in Madhuri Ras, Shrimati Radhika's love is topmost. Madhana ke Mahabhav that Radhika has only she possesses that so if krishna doesn't distribute no one can take it no one can get a taste of that special quality of her love that she is offering to krishna so krishna wants to share his prasad that's why we see every day not only in braj but everywhere krishna is sharing his prasadam krishna is not selfish that only i will eat the best things anything krishna gets he distributes So in Braj we see this we see it in all over the world in all the temples whatever Krishna takes he makes sure everyone eats and Takuji people may say why isn't Takuji eating but he is taking by his eyes by his senses by his nose the Brahma Sangeeta says Krishna can take by any sense by his nose by his ears but in Braj he wants to distribute everything because Radhika's prem is so powerful there that he wants the, those in Sakyaras those in Vatsayaras to experience or to see the glory of her prem so he's distributing afterwards he comes and he sits down and he starts to take but he's taking very slowly then he starts to eat but one mouthful he takes and then he becomes as if stamba stamba means stunned because stunned stunned like pulaka sveda stamba it's one of the ecstatic symptoms so krishna is When he first tastes Radharani's prasad, then Sweda, Stampa, he begins to sweat. His hairs are standing on end, and he becomes mesmerized, enchanted. So he's eating very slowly. In each bite, he's relishing with great bhav, with great ecstasy. And the other boys, the other sakas, are eating very quick. Generally, we like you see boys, you know, if there's lots of nice food, they're very quickly eating. So Madhumanga, Shridam, Sudam, Badrasein, all the boys are quickly eating, and they see Krishna is like. and like half a minute absorbed in bhav and so they they begin to tease him especially madhu mangal madhu mangal is sitting next to krishna like nanda baba krishna baladev and madhu mangal so madhu mangal starts to say oh krishna just look you're very skinny and black and your digestion is very weak so you take one bite and you have to like sit and chew and hope it and somehow or other try to digest it's very difficult for you I think it's better if we call Mother Yashoda and tell her that you are not able to digest this rich food. Everything has ghee in it, butter, 
Even the ghee is first in Braj when they take. Propad said, real cooking means cooked in ghee or fried in ghee. So in Braj, the rice they take, they stir fry in ghee. And it becomes a little bit clear. And then they put the water and boil it. So everything in Braj has ghee. So Madhumanga says, oh Krishna, what can we do? You know, you're sick, you're weak. So we can make you a special kind of drink with neem juice and bitter melon juice. And you can just drink this for maybe a few weeks and then you'll become able to digest heavy stuff. So he says, oh, Yashoda, oh, Yashoda, Krishna, he needs to get some neem juice. We, are, we know neem is like, oh, so bitter. And you mix it with bitter melon and just thinking of it, Krishna, like, you know, he's shaking. Especially little kids, they don't like bitter food. Maybe when you're older, you develop the taste for bitter food. But Krishna's like, and so then he, Madhu Mangal keeps teasing him, poking him, poking him. So Krishna then grabs Madhu Mangal's r- prasad. Like Madhu Mangal's teasing him, saying he can't eat. So he starts to take from Madhu Mangal's plate and quickly eats. And then, Ma- then Madhu Mangal, hey, why are you stealing from me? Like he has n- nice ghee, rice, sabjis. And Krishna starts grabbing it from him and eating it very quickly. And so then Madhu Mangal's very angry. He said, hey. I'm also a big boy, you know, why are you stealing my food? And he says, you're a weak Vaisha, your stomach is very weak, but I'm a Brahmin. Brahmins are known, their stomach is like the fire of Agni. When you do yagyas, that it said that Vishnu eats through the mouths of the Brahmins. So when you, do, when you feed a Brahmin, it's like performing a fire yagya. So he says, I am a Brahmin and whatever you give me, I'm easily able to digest. So, oh Yashoda, look, your son is stealing my food, quickly bring me more. And so then Jashoda Rohini come and they pile his plate up like a mountain. Many bowls, not only one plate. He has a plate and maybe like a dozen bowls, cups. So they give him so much. But then he says, you know, Brahmins, they don't like rice and dal. This is for also like lower class people. I am a Brahmin. You should give me rasgulla, gulab jamin, samosa, kachori, ladu, puri, burfi. In, in Mathura, when we invite the Brahmins, we give them like ghee puri, ghee kachori, samosa, sweets. They don't like rice and dal. Sabji then paneer sabji with koa, cream, and every nice heavy stuff. So Madhu Manga says, you should give me stuff proper for a Brahmin. And so then they bring many kinds of fried savories and he gets a big pile and then he's very happy, you know, and he's like, like Giriraj. He's a small boy, but his stomach is as big as Giriraj. And he begins to eat and eat and eat. And then while he's eating, he's very happy. And he says, yes, you know, Krishna took my remnants because I'm a Brahmin. I'm a higher class. And if Vaishyas and Sudras don't take Brahmin's remnants, they'll never get auspiciousness in their life. So he's eating and he's like saying like this, you know, Krishna, you know, he's just a Vaishya, a cow herder. I am a high class Brahmin. Therefore, he's taking my remnants. You see? He's taking my remnants. And then Krishna thinks, yes. And all the Sakas saying, oh, you are criticizing the Vaishyas. Okay. So then all the Sakas come behind Madhu Mangal and jump in front and steal everything from his plate. They say, yes, now we'll take your prasad. And one by one, 20 Sakas come and they steal everything from his plate and run off and are eating. So then Madhu Mangal jumps up and pulls his Brahmin thread, you know. You don't know. I'll curse you all. He said, taking remnants means with respect. After I finish eating, if I mercifully leave something on my plate, then you can take that. I may leave half a gulab jamin, half a rasgulla, like I take a few bites out of a samosa. Then you can come and offer pranam and take my remnants. But look how arrogant you are. Now I'll have to curse you. And so he's threatening like this. And he's dancing in the lines. So then Prabhupada tells something very sweet. He says... In the morning in Javat, Radhika has her suka, her parrot. And so this day, he woke up a little bit late. Normally he wakes up very early, but he woke up a little late and looked around, where is Radharani? And so immediately he got up and he flew to Nandababan. And he entered the Prashadam hall, right as they're sitting for Prashadam. And he saw all the Sakas making so much noise and fighting and wrestling over Prashadam. So he flew in immediately and he came down the line. Prabhupada describes, when they're eating Prashad, suka is always very... Like, serious. 
He's very small but very powerful because Radi he's Radhika's very dear Sukha. So he has so much conviction and power in him that I am Sukha, you know, Radhika Sukha. So he says, hey, you know, and he's able to speak in a grave voice like a general, you know, parrots. He can speak however he likes. So with Radhika, is very sweet and very small. She feeds him pomegranate seeds, sweet rice. But in front of Krishna and the boys, you know, he's like, hey, you should show proper honor, respect. Don't cause so much mischief. Okay, so then everyone sits down and starts again taking prasadam. So now, Radhika is send, watching from the kitchen. From the kitchen, like we have here in the kitchen. After the kitchen, there's a big prasadam area. So in Nanda Bhavan, Radhika's kitchen is at a, such a place that from outside the kitchen you can see everyone taking prasadam. So Radhika is watching. What is Krishna taking? What is his mood? What is he like? So they're sending one item after another. And Krishna again, he's eating and he's in so much ecstasy, it's like he's barely eating. So Yashoda, Rohini, they're worrying. Like, why isn't Krishna eating properly? So they ask Radhika, maybe you have some special items that Krishna likes, you know, he likes so much, you can send those. Or maybe Radhika, you yourself can take something. And your Rohini and Yashoda both say, okay, Radhika, you can go take something to Krishna. She's just a little baby girl. So she's very shy. She doesn't want to go, especially in front of all the elders, Nanda Baba, Brishabhanu and Kirtida. How will she go in front of them all and feed Krishna? How will she control her bhav, her emotion? But at the same time, Yashoda has given her this Agya instruction. How can she ignore the instruction of Yashoda? Right? Like this. How can she ignore Yashoda's instruction? So she's just like, doesn't know what to do. But then Yashoda quickly gets a plate, golden plate, and a few different, uh, puts some puris and some other preparations and gives Radhika and says, okay, you can go and give, give Nanda Baba, give Krishna. Maybe if you give yourself, he will eat. Because before that, Jashoda goes and tells Krishna, Radhika came all the way from, Nanda Baba, uh, from Javat. She cooked with so much effort and you're not eating properly. How will she feel? So Radhika, Jashoda thinks, if I send Radhika, maybe he will eat nicely. So Radhika is carrying the plate and she's looking, you know, on that side, the grandparents, Nanda Baba, there is Jashoda, and there is my Krishna, Pran Priyatam. And also, Radhika always has different moods. She is Vamya Bhav. So sometimes she's a little bit contrary mood, thinking, oh, will I give him directly or not? So she's going, and all these different moods are mixing in her mind and heart. Like, you know, we see like when a, her, a windstorm is coming or in the sky, you know, when there's different heats, you know, hot and cold weather, air, and then it's all mixing together and it's inside of Radhika now. So all these different moods are coming. Kila Kinchit Bhav. One, two, three, four, five. And she begins to shake. And as she's walking close to Krishna, she gets a few, like 10 feet away. Her hands shake. And the plate falls out of her hands. And makes a big noise. Clang, you know. Puris, sand dash, everything flies. And Radhika immediately, her face goes red. And she turns and runs back to the kitchen. And... Immediately, Madhu Mangal jumps up and grabs everything <laughs> and sits down and he's saying, look, I am so lucky. You don't have proper respect for Prasad. Look at my taste for Prasad. Look how much greed I have. And immediately takes everything and begins to taste and say, Krishna, your family is very poor. You're so lucky that Brishabhanu's family has come and cooked for you. But in your dynasty, I think they've never tasted Prasad cooked like this. You're not so fortunate, but you're so lucky that their family now has come and is taking care of you. Okay, so then Radhika goes back to the kitchen and she's feeling very shy, her face is red and Jashoda and Rahini are also feeling very shy for her because this happened. Nah? So they give her embrace, they don't worry. Okay, you can just, <laughs> don't worry Lali. So then they say, maybe let's take something you made specially and we'll give, Rohini will give. So what did you make that's very special that you have so much affection for, taste for, that you know Krishna likes so much. So then Radhika is very shy, but then the other Manjari's Tulsi and Lalita Vishaka, they point, they know. Radhika makes Manohar Ladu. Manohar Ladu is one of Krishna's favorite preparations, very special preparation. 
We can ask Prabhuji how to make, we can cook with Prabhuji one time. We've, I've, we've made it before. It's a very special preparation. So they give this plate that they've been hiding. They don't make, they give for Krishna only. So they bring this plate and they take to Krishna, Rohini takes. And tells Krishna, take this, you know, take this now. And she puts it on Krishna's plate. So now Krishna is also, he likes to play also. Krishna is like Lila Purushottam. He always likes to play and tease. So he takes this ladu and he puts it just to his lips and just starts to bite. And then he goes. And then he takes all the ladus and throws them on, puts them on Madhu Mangal's plate. And Radhika's watching, like, she doesn't know what to think. Like, is she angry or, like, what happened? She's looking at the Manjri Sakis, maybe some mistake, maybe some ingredient was mixed. Like, sometimes when in the forest, they tease Madhu Mangal and they give him ladu, but inside it's only chili powder or neem powder. Or instead of sugar, they put salt. So Radhika's thinking, what happened? Maybe some mistake happened today. And she's very, like, kind of disturbed now, thinking what happened. So why does Krishna do like this? Prabhupada describes that Krishna is, on one hand, this is part of the ras. Everything in Braj, they like to play in an indirect way. Padakiya ras. They don't like to, if I am saying I'm going left, I go right. Gurudev describes that in Prem, also sometimes this happens, that if you're feeling happiness externally, you show displeasure. If you're feeling joyful you show like sadness and you know if you're very excited then you're very quiet so in frame these emotions manifest in very strange ways so krishna is tasting this he's feeling so much ecstasy but he makes a very sour face and gives to madhu mangal and also like we said before he likes that everyone will taste his prasadam especially the best things that he doesn't like to keep everything for himself so he likes to share and he also is teasing a little bit. So this pastime happens. Then Jashoda thinks, okay, there must be something else that we can give. And Jashoda says, I myself will give Krishna. So she asks Radhika, what do you have left? Something very special. They've taken so many dozens and dozens of items. Then there's one plate that Radhika has kept aside with only a few of each item, only for Krishna. That Radhika made herself completely. Many preparations Lalita makes, Vishaka makes, Manimati makes, all the other Sakis make. But some things Radhika makes completely herself. Other things she is putting the sugar, putting the paneer, and they are stirring and preparing, but she is overseeing. But some things Radhika just herself makes. So she shows one plate that she put the most care into. And Jashoda takes this plate, and Yashoda herself goes and sits down next to Krishna, and sits Krishna on her lap and says, now I'll make sure you eat properly. Otherwise, if you're going out all day in the forest, running around, playing in the forest, how will you be able to do anything if you don't eat properly. You're a little boy, you need a lot of prasad. So Yashoda herself takes Krishna on her lap and begins to feed one ladu, one other sweet, one other preparation. And Krishna at this time, he's like overwhelmed in ecstasy. Trivikram Maharaj once asked Gurudev that we see that sometimes only Yashoda is serving Krishna. So does that mean in some places Vatsaliras is greater than Madhurya? And Gurudev said, all the rasas are present in Madhurya. Within Madhurya, Vatsalya is present. Within Vatsalya, Sakya is present. He gives the example of earth. If you look at soil, earth, within that, the quality of water, fire, ether, air is all present. All the four other elements are present within earth. So Madhurya ras has Vatsalya, Sakya, Dasya, and Santaras all inside it. And on top of that, when Yashoda is feeding Krishna, everything is made by Radhika. So it is like Radhika is serving Krishna directly through Jashoda. And also Radhika is described to be the Prem Surya, the son of divine love. So her love is permeating all throughout Braj. And the rays of her love enters into the heart of all the Braj bases, and through that pure love they're serving Krishna. So Radhika is also serving Krishna through this manner. Okay? So in this way Krishna takes Prasadam and... Now we'll hear the next verse. Radha Radha, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel down there. Share with your friends. Ask a question in the comments. And check out our website, creepa.tv, for courses to support us and for our articles and more. Adibo.